What's going on everyone? This is Mitch or TheHacker13 from JailbreakAuthority.com and today I have Best Jailbreak Tweaks for iOS 6, Episode 6. So I'll be showing you guys three awesome tweaks that you should definitely get for your device if you're jailbroken on iOS 6. So the first one is called Lock Flavors and it goes for $1.99 and as you can see here it's a separate application, it's not only in the settings application and you can enable the tweak, use a themed wallpaper, you can change the label on your, where, your, where it normally says slide to unlock on the lock screen, I'm going to put Mitch and unfortunately the use theme wallpaper feature does not work for me, neither does use theme slider. Um, so this is basically, you got some default themes here and I'm just going to select one of them to show you. A great, really nice thing about this tweak is you don't have to respring every time you select one. So I'm going to select Caution Red. Now this is the only theme that I have found so far that actually gives me a different slider. As you can see there it actually looks pretty sick with the different font and the different slider and it obviously changes the background of the top and bottom bar so it actually looks pretty sick as you can see there and I have Mitch as my slide to unlock text um, but every other theme that I select I don't get that cool slider and I don't get the cool slider either when I make a custom theme as you can see it goes back to the regular slider unfortunately but nonetheless it still looks cool without the cool slider um, I'll select this one right here, it's called Try, and he's got all these different backgrounds along with different fonts for each one, so uh, it's pretty cool, you got all those nice default themes, but one of the um, parts that really makes this tweak great is the fact that you can make your own default themes. Um, and before I do that, I'm going to select one more just to show you guys, it's called Canvas White. And this one looks pretty nice here, as you can see there. Um, so. As you can see, I already have one custom theme. It's called Mitch, and I'll go to my home screen, and I got a green background along with a different font for my clock. So I'm going to make a new one by pressing the plus button in the upper right-hand corner. And so right now, we have it selected on top. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the color of top. So you can do that by um, sliding either one of these bars, and uh, you can make your own custom color and so I was trying to go for a little bit of an orange but I find that I found that kinda difficult at the time um, so as you can see here I'm just gonna make a nice little orange color and then so when you wanna choose the color for the bottom bar you press bottom and I decided to make that uh, more of a turquoise I believe uh, so as you can see here it's taken me quite a while um, but I eventually get it there there's the turquoise and there's a little button where you can make it so both colors are exactly the same for the top and bottom. And now I'm going to change the color of the text. So I'm going to make it um, purple. So as you can see there, it's purple. And then you can press fonts and you can choose from any one of these fonts uh, for the clock. So I'm going to go with that one right there. And so once you're ready, you press done and press save. And it's going to ask you to name the new theme. So I'm going to, do, I'm going to name it Mitch2. And then you press OK. And let's check out what this looks like. So as you can see, I got an orange on the top and a turquoise on the bottom. And the font is pretty cool and it's purple. So that's pretty much it for lock flavors. You can uh, customize your lock screen really in depth. And it gives you a separate applica application, which is pretty nice too. Um, so the next tweak that I will be showing you all is called Sodium. Now, this does go for $0.99 cents in Cydia. And as you can see, these are the settings you get within the settings application. And basically what it does is it lets you customize the colors of both of your wallpapers um, using all these different settings here. So you can set alpha, um, and then you can also choose a fill color. So I'm going to choose orange. I put the set alpha bar a little bit lower. And you can also choose your blend mode. So I put exclusion on, and you got grayscale and negative also. The one downside of this tweak is that you do need to respring. Um, as opposed to lock flavors in order for the effects um, to happen on your device. So as you can see, I'm just going to respring here, and we'll see what happens. So uh, basically what it will do is it will change your wallpaper um, with however whichever settings you select. So I select, based on the selecting... Based on the settings that I chose, it made my wallpaper more purple, as you can see there, and it looks pretty nice. Um, so we're going to head back into the sodium settings and try uh, yet another configuration. So I'm going to put the set alpha even lower. I'm going to change the fill color from orange to red. And then I'm also going to change the blend mode from exclusion to luminosity. 
So once again, unfortunately, we do need to respring. Um, and you know, this tweak could actually be very useful. Say if you found a really, really cool looking wallpaper, but unfortunately maybe it's black and white or you found any cool wallpaper and it's just not really the colors you like, then you can use this tweak to make the wallpaper look a lot cooler. But the settings that I chose just made the wallpaper way too dark there. So I'm going to try once again to make a cool one. I'm going to put cell alpha, set alpha all the way up. Um, I'm going to choose yellow. And then for blend mode, I'm... I take a little bit of a little bit of a while to select my blend mode option here, but um, I eventually choose hue, as you can see there. And so let's see how this makes our wallpaper look. I believe it actually makes it look pretty cool. So once again, we're gonna respring. And like I said, if you have a black and white wallpaper or wallpaper with colors that you just flat out don't like, um, as you can see, this tweak can make your wallpaper look pretty cool, and you can um, change the way it looks, just like I did there. And this the settings that I chose actually make it look pretty cool as you guys can see um, and that's pretty much it for sodium just allows you to change the colors around of your wallpaper and it does it in a pretty cool way because there's so many different options that you have to customize the colors of your wallpapers but um, anyways that's pretty much it for sodium so now the third and final tweak of best jailbreak tweaks for iOS 6 episode 6 is called face halt now this does go for one dollar and ninety nine cents in the city of store and these are the settings you get for face halt basically it just says enabled for every application um, you can disable you can disable it for certain applications and basically what face halt is is um, it's smart pause but for iPhones um, and if you guys don't know what smart pause is basically it's a feature on the Samsung Galaxies where if you're watching a video and you look away it'll automatically pause for you and when you look back it will play um, sometimes it doesn't work like you like you just saw me I had to use my finger but I looked away and then looked back again and it paused as you can see and I look back and it plays um, so it works pretty well most of the time and it's an awesome tweak that you guys should definitely get because Samsung devices have it and now we can get it with our jailbroken iPhones but that's pretty much it guys for best jailbreak tweaks for iOS 6 uh, episode 6 I hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to click the like button leave a comment and if you haven't already please subscribe once again guys thanks for watching and I will see you all in my next video